about git and github so uh, before uh, we dive into git or github we first need to understand uh, what is the need of undo in software development right so i'm talking about the development life cycle over here right so why and uh, like where do we need to do undo uh, in the software development life cycle so let, let's understand this process so let's say uh, as a developer i have generated a build right i have implemented a functionality and generated a build and that uh, build i have tested that build and which is actually working fine so what i have done i have actually send it to the de deployment server and i have deployed it over there right now let's say uh, in an agile environment or in any life cycle if there there are any changes in the requirement uh, if, if uh, uh, there are any changes in the requirement which been uh, like suggested uh, by the client uh, right that uh, needs to be implemented uh, in the current project so what uh, as a developer I will be doing I'll be generating uh, I'll be implementing that change uh, in the current build and I'll generate another version of build uh, that is build to right so again I'll test that build and again uh, the process for deployment will uh, gonna remain the same right so that build will be deployed again onto the deployment server right now let's say during deployment of the build the build got broken and uh, the changes that uh, i wanted to be implement in in this build was not uh, actually implemented over there right now uh, the build is completely broken now what i want that i want to revert back to the previous build so i want to actually do the uh, I actually want to do undo the changes right I actually want to undo the changes that I have committed uh, in the current build so if I have actually uh, kept the previous build stored on some location uh, on some archive folder so I can actually uh, get that build from there but what if I haven't uh, uh, store that uh, at any location and this build got uh, overridden by by the new build then there will be a reason of worry for me right so how will I uh, actually undo the changes that I have made in the current build because I mean due to these changes the current build got broken right so if it is a, a small software if it is a small software then uh, this thing can be very easily uh, managed by uh, managing the build manually right storing it some location and then get it back right so uh, uh, let's say if there, there are uh, 100 developers involved in uh, actually implementation of this feature and this is a huge project right this is a very big project then the real challenge will come over there when we need to undo any change right and this is where your uh, version controlling system comes into the place right so it will actually let us know how to revert back to the previous version there there are many version control uh, tools available in the market right but in this uh, module we're gonna talk about git and github right so if we talk about version control revision control subversion control all these are one of the same thing so versioning control is basically a process in which state or version of a software is continuously tracked right so this system records each and every changes to a file or set of files that we made right during development so that we can anytime revert back to the previous version or previous state of the code whenever there is a requirement right so everything over here uh, is being tracked by the version uh, controlling tool right so each and everything if we if we make even a single change to our code then that thing will also be tracked by the version uh, control tool right 
So let's see uh, how many types of version control systems are there uh, available in the market, right? The very basic one is uh, the local version control system. So let's uh, understand first how this local version control uh, works. This is the very simplest one, right? In which a uh, programmer copies the files into a timestamp directory. Timestamp directory, as in, let's say there there is a very small project and only let's say one developer is working on that project and he want to uh, maintain the versioning of uh, the files uh, which he uh, uh, like write on a daily basis right so the code that he write on a daily basis so how uh, how in a very simple way how he's going to do that so let's say uh, he he uh, go to his local repository he create uh, a new folder for version control let's say give it a name as version control right inside it uh, he'll gonna create some folders let's say uh, a folder uh, let's say that today the date is uh, let's say 20th right so 20th and uh, he'll gonna maintain whatever code that uh, he's gonna write he'll gonna maintain inside uh, this folder for today's date right and let's say uh, the next day when he comes he do whatever work that he do he'll maintain uh, in another folder with uh, the second uh, date right that is 21st of June right so same way if, if he wants uh, to manage it uh, uh, beyond this as well then he can implement some time stamping he can create some other folders uh, let's say uh, check in that uh, check in as in uh, like the code that he has uh, uh, like uh, implemented uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, he, he'll keep that code over here then uh, next code for 8 p.m. he will keep over here right so this is how but this system is completely manual right so this system is completely manual moreover uh, it is more successful where uh, like uh, only one uh, developer or one programmer or one tester is, is involved in this project right but if we if we are actually talking about a big project then this uh, version system this local version system will not gonna work over there right because this system is more uh, error prone and uh, it, it's it is actually beneficial for a single programmer because if, if lots of people are involved in the project and if they are actually trying to manage this sort of system so that is not feasible right now there is uh, uh, what we find a need of centralized version control system right now uh, in centralized version control system we have a centralized repository right which is uh, kept at one location and let's say uh, our developers are uh, like sitting at different locations at different time zones let's say one is uh, sitting in New York and one is sitting in Seattle right so let's say a uh, developer A checks in the code right he uh, whatever coding that he has done for the day he pushed that code onto the centralized repository at the same time uh, the developer B who is at a, a different location can actually pull that code from that centralized repository at the same time and again he can do some changes and again he can commit that changes he, he, he can push that changes to that centralized repository and then a developer A if he wants to uh, like check out all the changes that he has actually committed if he wants to pull all the changes then he can do at his own end same way other other developers uh, who are sitting at different location can easily uh, push push and pull uh, the code from the centralized repository right so here uh, the challenge that were faced in in a manual uh, local version control system has been actually resolved by the centralized version control system right so the client uh, which are actually connected uh, to it can push or uh, fetch any uh, product version by remote access right which means that the process through which files are pushed uh, in this case in in the repository are called as checked in so you might have heard about uh, the the term check-in uh, 
a lot of time right so check-in means that when we are actually uh, uh, like pushing our code from the local uh, machine from our uh, desktop or laptops to the centralized repository it could be SVN it could be VSS there there are many centralized version controlling systems available in the market right so and the process of uh, fetching the data fetching the code from the centralized repository is actually uh, called as checkout right so these are the two uh, most important terms that are being used uh, while uh, uh, working on the centralized uh, version control system that uh, either you can check in your code or you can check out the code from the centralized repository right now uh, there are some limitations as well uh, that are there with the centralized uh, version control system or you can say there are a few major drawbacks with the centralized version control system and that is uh, let's say uh, if all the files are, are, are stored on a on a centralized repository right and if somehow uh, the server is down for a for a uh, for any period of time right so no no programmer or no developer can, uh, should be able to perform check in and check out right so it will be a downtime for them they they should not be able to perform any check check ins or any check out right so uh, you can you can uh, yourself analyze that uh, the time of amount that will be wasted in that particular period right the other uh, situation is that uh, let's say a hard disk for that centralized server gets corrupt and the entire history of the project will be gone and will lose everything right if, if they don't have any backup uh, stored on any other server then the entire history will be gone so due to these these problem and these situations uh, there is another thing uh, that is being invented and overcome the challenges of uh, the centralized uh, version control system and that is through distributed version control system and that is where uh, the git and github comes into the picture so now uh, so in in distributed version control system whenever a client machine fetch out the latest file from centralized repository it actually fully mirrors the whole project into that uh, the whole project repository it actually uh, mirrors the whole project repository onto their local machine let's say uh, you can see these two images over here one is the traditional one and one is the distributed one right in traditional what happens let's say uh, all these client machines are connected uh, they are actually checking in and checking out code from this repository and this repository is connected to this server right now let's say uh, if this server is down then all of these uh, guys will not be able to connect to this repository and should not be able to check in and check out uh, code from this particular repository right now if if we talk about a uh, distributed uh, version control system so let's say uh, if we talk about let's say this is a centralized repository right so whenever uh, let's say any client checks out the code from uh, this uh, repository so what this will gonna do this will actually gonna bring the entire repository as a mirror onto their local machine same way if the second client if the third client will perform the same thing then the entire repository will be checked uh, out uh, will be checked out to its uh, to his local machine as a mirror right so each each system will gonna have a backup of all uh, of entire uh, repository code and files that are uh, maintained via distributed version control system right so in this uh, case each client machine is a complete backup of the project actually right so if centralized repository fails any client repository can be copied to the server in order to restore the uh, entire project right and in this every checkout is a full backup of that project and this is where the git comes into the picture 
so uh, the other thing i mean uh, the major advantage of using distributed version control system is that let's say uh, you are uh, on to the centralized repos uh, like version control system let's say you are using svn or vss right so in that case uh, you need to be connected to internet all the time to perform check ins and check outs right and somehow if you are not connected to internet then you are not able to perform your work you are not able to perform any check in or check out but in case of uh, in case of the distributed version control system in case of uh, git uh, you need not to connect to the internet all the time because the entire repository uh, is uh, available on your local machine itself as a mirror and you can uh, perform all the commits check in and check out uh, to the to the uh, local repository itself and when you are connected to the internet you can uh, push the entire repository to the distributed environment right this is how uh, your git and github will going to work right so let's talk about git over here so when i'm saying git i'm just talking about git i'm not talking about github over here right git and github these two are two different parts right so git is basically a software that will be installed on your local machine and github is that centralized repository where you will be uh you will be pushing your entire project code right that, that is a centralized uh, server uh, where where you will be uh, performing uh, where you'll be keeping the uh, versioning control of your current project right so if we if we are talking about git git is basically a distributed version control system in which all files of a particular project is stored in a centralized git server so centralized git server is what github is right so so it's a tool which uh, manages uh, the source code history that that is what uh, the major task of git is to, it it will actually going to track uh, whatever changes that you made in your current project or whatever uh, new things that you're going to implement in your pro current project it will actually going to track all the changes right so if you if you actually made uh, just two uh, like uh, if you actually add uh, two lines of statement in your current project code then that as well will be tracked by git software itself right so the working of uh, git is completely different from how other centralized uh, version control system works like uh, svn or vss right so in git uh, whenever a client checked out the files the whole project is copied onto the client machine in a hidden folder right and in a compressed form so the entire replica entire mirror of the project is actually uh, stored on uh, the local client machine itself right if you if you specifically talk about git and github there there are many open source projects which are actually uh, using this git right um, let's say if you uh, go to the selenroid or selenium projects itself let's say if i uh, go to selenroid uh, dot io the, you can see fork me on git so their their entire project code is uh, on github they are actually maintaining their uh, their uh, all the version controlling onto this github project right same way uh, there's one ios driver and this is again on github right even uh, okay this does not show up so if you write ios driver website and this is uh, the main home page of their website right again uh, this is maintained on github itself right even the, the entire selenium project uh, the web drive project you're gonna find the entire code of the web drive project on github as well right so many many open source projects actually uh, use git and github because this is the best the best version uh, sent uh, best distributed version control system available in the market right so in, in uh, the next lecture we're gonna see how we uh, actually gonna install uh, the git on windows right 
so that's about it uh, in this volume and we'll meet in next volume all right